Cosplay Festival Asia was also the venue for one of Southeast Asia's biggest cosplay competitions. It brought together teams from across Southeast Asia to compete for the title of the best cosplayers in the region. And what a show it was. A life in the day of a cosplayer is largely spent posing in front of the photographers. Cosplayers everywhere thrive in the glow of the camera flash. To be in the spotlight means letting go of your inhibitions. It means being ready to smile and pose for anyone wishing to click your pictures. For the cosplayers, it is purely character portrayal. What does it mean for the spectators? Um, I'm not sure what it was. My spectators think I'm... They're really passionate about it. And it's a nice look at I feel like you went to join them as well. But despite being highly recognised, is this carefree cosplay community still not widely accepted by mainstream society? A lot of people who don't cosplay see cosplayers as different. Little by little, it's being accepted now. I mean, they find it fun, colorful, exciting because you get to wear costumes, and then some people are into photography now, so they can practice their skills with it and yeah, do more collabs, meet friends with the same interests. So it's really becoming an accepted community. One of the biggest challenges that the youths face while starting to cosplay is parental opposition. At times, it's not just parents who are opposed to it, it is also their own friends and colleagues. But many of them try to carry on with their passion, one way or another. I remember one time that my parents told me to stop cosplaying because it's taking up so much time and effort and money. So, so I tried to cosplay without my parents knowing it. <laughs> me and my friends were making our costumes, we were like really feathers and stuff. But once the serious cosplayers are outed in public, most do not shy away from admitting to it. And then they are free to pursue their hobby freely. We joined this competition and we won first place. And then my parents were happy. <laughs> and so they told me, I can cosplay again. So yeah. <laughs> Things may be getting better for cosplayers in this region. But what about the situation in the birthplace of cosplay itself? No, but cosplay is in Japan. there are still seen as social outcasts. The term hikikomori is a term often used to describe individuals who stay confined to their homes. They are not very outgoing in nature and sometimes misunderstood as being misfits and asocial rather than just shy individuals. Thank you. 